Oh, he's gonna be here soon. When our little one comes into this world, we're committed to keeping his environment serene and peaceful. That way he'll always know he's loved and safe. Would you do something for a change? All you do is sit around and watch me do everything. I'm never not doing anything. Could you just help me for once? Yes, just tell me what to do. He needs to be changed. Could you do that? Yes, I'm on it. There's no poop. How can you tell if he peed? Smell it. Ah, ah. It's in my eyes, in my mouth. At a spiritual level, we know our baby chose us to be his teachers. Amber, because of her ability to love unconditionally. And JP, because of his strength. If you ever wake me up again while I'm napping, I will literally disembowel you. I need sleep. Do you understand? I didn't mean to. And why would you be sleeping in the middle of the day? You have no idea what it's like being a mother. Why won't he stop crying? Does he have autism or something? He always stops crying for me. It's like he's sexist or something. We know that keeping our relationship strong is a foundation for raising our child. So we're gonna make sure that we keep prioritizing each other. So how are things going in your relationship with Amber? Who's Amber? Your wife. Oh. Yeah. What's this thing for? For him to sleep in. Huh. Then what's that one for? For him to sleep in. Well, how come he never sleeps in either of these things? Because he doesn't like them. Then why'd we buy them? In case he did. We have also heard a lot about how being a new parent can be tough with the sleeplessness and responsibilities. So we're each going to stay committed to our own self-care practice so we can keep showing up fully as parents. So how's the self-care going? Well, not bad. I mean, yesterday I had an anxiety attack, which felt like 10 minutes just for me. Babe, have you seen Wilder? He's right there. Oh. How long has he been there? Where are you going? Oh, just out to the store for five minutes to grab some diapers. I can't wait for the birth. It's the most sacred experience a woman can have. The birthing process is a gift from God. How was the birth? It was the most spiritual experience of my life. It was everything I'd hoped for and more. We did a home birth. It was magical. So how was the birth for you? It was the most traumatic experience of my life. I didn't know God could be so cruel. Oh, and home births are super sketchy, by the way. It's kind of like going rock climbing and just not using the rope. It was also a lot messier than I anticipated. We have amniotic fluid stains on the living room rug. The dog ate half the placenta. Halfway through this thing, I remember thinking, we should have done this in someone else's home, you know? Just like get an Airbnb for the weekend. Just intuitively, we have a feeling our baby's an old soul. Oh, daddy loves you. Oh. How did he get sh in his armpit? A very evolved soul. And it's on the back of his neck. Does that need to be cleaned? Yeah. Can you use butt wipes on a neck? He'll be so precious. You're disgusting. Hey, do you want to get a sitter and go out for dinner? Just relax for a change? Sure, I'll just start pumping now to have enough milk to leave him, because I'm barely producing enough milk as it is. When he's not waking up in the middle of the night, I'll need to wake up now to pump. I'll have to do that for the next three nights. I'll get even less sleep than I'm getting right now. So yeah, that sounds really relaxing. Great, I'll make a reservation. As the father, I would do anything for my family. I'll always protect, provide, and be here for them. Jordan, I need you to come pick me up, man. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, for sure. Just honk twice when you get here, and I'll jump out of the upstairs window. Why don't you just leave through the front door? Because I want to have to go to the hospital. What are you doing? Oh, hey, I was just going out to get some more diapers. Do we need anything else? And now a word from our sponsor, Blue Blocks. There's three things I hate most in life. Hate, kale, and blue light. I know how to solve hate, that's with love. I don't know how to solve kale, and I definitely know how to solve blue light. And that's with Blue Blocks glasses. Why do I love to hate blue light? 
because it negatively affects you. Blue light at night can disrupt your sleep, screw up your hormonal system. So that means you have less energy, your body shape is negatively impaired, and you don't feel as good in your mood. And if you're someone like me who hates to function from anything other than love and feeling good inside of you, that's a problem. And short of living on the dark side of the moon, that's a hard problem to solve. But luckily, Blue Blocks solves the problem for you. Putting on a stylish pair of Blue Blocks, specifically on your face, reduces the amount of blue light that goes into your system, protecting you so you can ultimately feel and function your best, get great sleep, have good energy, and have a balanced hormonal system so you can look and feel the way you want. And personally, I love that. That's why for over a year, Blue Blocks has been the principal piece of my biohacking arsenal. And if you wanna join me using Blue Blocks to easily improve how you feel and function every day, just go to blueblocks.com slash JP and be sure to use the discount code JP to get 15% off. You'll love it.